Hello everybody, Roscoe here and welcome back to this mini-series of Democracy 3 where we are playing the National Unity Party of the UK and we're basically just trying to appease everybody and galvanise our nation together forward we will go so in the last episode we kind of incorporated a few uh, uh, well, two policies basically, we, we included the uh, NOCA NOCA? which is the National Unorganised Crime Agency <coughs> who are hopefully going to start stamping out our uh, organised crime. Which is, I, when I see that there, so the current, currently it's at 0.9% and the final, what they project is it's going to be down 11%, almost 12%, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, not very popular with most people, but it, it will get the job done. And we also put in the technological grants, which is... It's in this section somewhere. Where did I put it? I don't know. Is that a cell? Um, which, well, yeah. That's technology. That's no fucking it. Where is it? Is it that one? I did put it in, didn't I? Why is it not working now? Working week. GDP. Technological grant. Is that a cell right there? Um, yeah, they're going to be pretty pissed off the Rogers people. Uh, they're not going to be happy with that. Capitalists, that'll go up a little smidge. And unemployment will come down a smidge as well. So, yeah, it's, it's all good stuff. The biggest concern that we have now as I look into this, let's have a look, see what's... Is there a way of seeing everything as a whole? No. Popularity. We're pissing off liberal people. Why are we pissing off liberal people? What's... What's... What's wrong? Because that's starting to come down. Now, is it now? It's a lot to do with creationism versus evolution and CCTV cameras. And I, f I feel that maybe they're thinking that the CCTV cameras and euthanasia and handgun laws are all taking away their 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 liberal their liberalness of being liberal. Um, so yeah, I mean, is there something in there that I could probably put in? Let's let's have a look at the Leo aid. Or not. Yeah, that nothing's really affecting that per se. What's the worst offender? It's these ghettos. Why have we got ghettos? The combination of immigration, street crime, and racial ten uh, tension has led to our communities splintering into ghettos of different racial groups, which is a sad reflection of the state on our social uh, on our society. I mean that that value is well above the uh, the start trigger. It is bang straight up there. So the only way that we can maybe try and bring this down in my own eyes. Immigration is it's not going to do anything. Immigration isn't going to bring that down, not even by a smidge. What is going to bring that down, as I look at it, it would be trying to get rid of these street gangs and these vigilante mobs. So, they were in here, these vigilante mobs. Now, that is bad. That, that is super adding to the crime rate. Sorry about that bike outside. Actually, let me just close my window. Sweet God, man, that boy is in and out of that garage that you would not believe with that bike. Um, yeah, crime is, 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 look how much it's adding to that vigilante mobs. So how do we get rid of these dudes? What, what's, it's, it's all to do with crime. It is slightly on a, is it on a trend down? It has, but it's leveled out. Our citizens have lost faith in the ability of the police to beat crime. There has now started taking matters into their own hands, resulting in the often violent mobs handing out street justice on the spot. And this is le only leading to more disorder and more crime. So the police are needing more help. I could have activate the military. No, don't activate the military. Jesus, Roscoe. So let's have a look at the police force. What is wrong with you, lads? Funding's medium. Any change that I do here... Yeah, it's going to lower, I mean, it's going to cost more to lower our police force. I don't want to do that. But it's going to increase spending if I increase it as well. But I need to get that crime down, man. Is there any policies that I can incorporate that would help them? What about police drones? Tra tasers! Tasers! Oh, yeah, there's another one. Hire some secret police. Policey. <laughs> this is a mod. To protect you and the wealthy. We don't need to do that. Private prisons, bring the cost of what we spend on prisons, give it off to the state, 
Uh, sorry, uh, instead of the state doing it, uh, private companies. So yeah, rather than directly control and manage a state uh, state prison service, this policy allows prisons to be privately owned and managed, and merely paid for by the state. Private prisons could result in lower cost and higher efficiency. These measures will be unpopular with the trade unionists. Liberals will have ethical concerns about profiting from incarceration, but still be pleased if spending is high enough to promote rehabilitation. Why not? Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's implement that. that I, I, me, personally, I find that that... Isn't that the way forward? Privatise the prisons? I mean, if there's going to be a better way of staying out of prison than having them privately owned... So that everything is like you get your one blanket, your one bed, your one shoe, your whatever. Everything is there. You, I wouldn't want to go back to prison if I was in prison. If I was in prison in a private prison. Because right now they're buttons, aren't they? I, I remember reading somewhere there's some governor in, uh, of a prison in Arizona. They made, the pre they, they made them stay in tents. I wouldn't want to go back to staying in a tent and working and... Nah, man. <laughs> I'd be a good citizen. So I'm going to apply that. And let's have a look here. What does the stats do? Who? Oh, wait, the crime, man. That comes shooting right down. But uh, what's wrong? Conservatives are pissed off with it, really? Trade unionists are not happy with that. Alright, well, we'll leave it on medium, man. Let's put it there. 4.37 billion. That's how much it's going to cost. Right, everything's money. Everything is money. Apply it. It's only going to cost me. Oh, fuck me. It cost me 10. I thought it was only five. Um, right, bang, that goes in there. It's going to take five turns for that in order to uh, kind of go on. Right, now what have we got? I mean, that seems to be the biggest problem. Then we've got this homelessness, this, 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 this. Homelessness, this, this. Uh, more and more of your citizens are homeless and have taken to sleeping in the streets. This is having a knock on effects in the areas of crime and violent crime. Is also reducing everybody's quality of life. Something needs to be done to provide homes for these people. What can we apply in here? <laughs> Welfare fraud department. Bang! Costs so much, man. It's relatively cheap, that one, in the grand scheme of things, if I put rent controls in. An alternative to state housing is a system where the state will regulate private rental market in a bid to ensure the supply of affordable housing for all. Even within the private sector, capitalists will naturally see this as a distortion of the free market that will prevent enough homes being built, whereas supporters will say it prevents exploitation of the poor by greedy land owners. Food stamps still cost a lot. I mean, up to that's at the basic level. Food stamps is a, citizen, uh, is a system where the state will issue vouchers or stamps to those citizens on low or no income to ensure that they are able to afford food. Unlike giving straight cash benefit, food stamps can only be redeemed for uncooked food, <coughs> preventing them uh, from being used for unhealthy takeaway food. Supporters see food stamps as a valuable way to ensure, them, ensure, ensure nobody goes hungry no matter what their income. Critics consider such a scheme patronising and no more than papering over the cracks caused by free market failure and low wages. Well, the thing is, I think it sounds it sounds good, because I would rather, instead of someone going out and buying fags and birds, you know, I know that fags and birds, these are classed as luxuries. Um, it's, even with the poor, and, and the people with no money, having cigarettes and alcohol, sometimes that's the only way to get even kind of, any kind of happiness. But I would rather, I would rather them not spend that money on cigarettes uh, and alcohol and be fed so that they can get a job. As much as it say it's on a low wage, and trust me, I've been on a low wage uh, for me myself, but in order to get to where I am now, to have the house above my head, you've got to start off on a low wage. You, only be, you need that ambition to climb, and I would rather wake up having knowing that I've got a full belly and able to go in there and do the best work that I can than be completely starving, but have a fag in my hand. Do you know what I mean? Fags, even now, they're, they're like, what? I don't know, what, 10, 15 pounds for a pack of 20? It's 10, 15 pounds I'd rather spend on food, man. Nothing worse than hunger. So I'm going to implement that. 
I'm firing the food stamps. Uh, I'd rather it cost very little. And it does, even on the lowest. And it's good for everybody, bar. And it's, it's bashing down. Why isn't that even. That should be a thing, man. Look at that. Poverty. Bang. Straight down. On maximum. It just costs so much. So we'll leave it on high. Which is going to cost us. Actually, let me just. Before it becomes. We'll leave it on medium, just before it goes into high, which leaves us on 3 billion per quarter. I'm going to apply that change. It gets fired in, that leaves me with one political power that I can't really do anything with, I think. Yes, that is it. So there we go, we've imp implemented those those three ones just now. We'll see how it goes on, we'll crack on to the next, uh, the next turn, the next quarter. So we're at 45.71 deficit. Let me grab my pen so I can write that number down, because I've, I've got this habit of forgetting what... Uh, what I've actually done there. Right, okay, so that's me trying to address the homelessness, but I've also tried to address crime. And then I'm just letting this kind of tick along in here. Uh, I know there's still tax that we can do and everything else, but uh, y th these are problems that need to get done, and we've got an asthma epidemic. Now, car usage is obviously affecting that, which then obviously affects the parents, the environment, and the productivity. But when you click on environment, everything else is screaming into it. What is it? Shouldn't the pollution be effect effectively affecting the environment? Nuclear waste, man, it's slow. Right. Anything else you want to do? I don't think there's really anything else that I can do that doesn't cost us the world. It would cost me one to increase that. Queen energy is obsidies. No, I revert. Don't bother touching any for that. What about taxis? Tobacco tax? Despite the failure of tobacco companies to admit it, there is a good reason to believe that smoking has a negative effects on health. Uh, this is uh, this. This is used as a justification for tax and tobacco. Cynics point out that the government benefits hugely from a tax on a product that is supposedly against. Health campaigners encourage the tax as a way of encouraging more healthy population. Look how much it is to raise that. To raise the tax, I believe. Is that... Yeah, look how much we lose. Cost us 27 to increase that. Look how much money we would get. That's definitely something to think about. I'm going to try and carry over some, um, carry over some of these points. That'd be something to do. Let's move on to the next turn. Ah, uh, right here we go. Okay, so yeah, GDP has went down. GDP's went down. I thought that would increase. What's wrong? Because there's a general strike. Let's have a look. Widespread dissatisfaction with the government has led to trade unions calling on a general strike. Although not everyone in the country is withholding their labour, a number of key industries are crippled by this strike, which will be disastrous both economically and politically. So what caused the strike? What is it? Poor earnings? Unemployment? Trade unions? Poor earnings? And it's affecting GDP and the Conservatives. What's wrong with the earnings? And poor earners went. Oh, right, okay. Wages. God, there's menu after menu. Right, okay, right, we'll address that. Uh, ban same sex marriage. Right, okay, what we got here? Ban same sex marriage. Until recently, this hasn't been hasn't been an issue. Marriage has been a straightforward issue and a ceremony that is reserved for heterosexual couples. But increasingly, the more liberal ministers have been carrying out some same-sex marriage. Should be banned this constitutional at a constitutional level. Ban it. It's crazy to allow this travesty of a religious ceremony to be take place by standing uh, standing by and doing nothing while we silently condone the practice. The church will be outraged if we don't move quickly to put a stop to this. And allow the marriages. There are no good reasons to ban such marriages. It's no business of the state to be interfere in the relationships between loving couples regardless of their gender. Placing a ban on 
the kind of relationship our citizens can form is an unforbiggable, unf uh, unforbiggable, oh god, that word, unforgivable intrusion into people's private lives. So yeah, I'm going to allow the marriages. That's, it's, that's, yeah, allow it. Wait, who, who's it harming? You know, we live in a dynamic, different world, and you'll have to look at the fucking news to see everything that's going on. Let's, let's give that, you know, some happiness to some people, legitimise the fact that if they want to spend, if they're uh, gay or heterosexual and they want to spend the rest of their lives with that person, then let that, let that, let us not get in the way. Uh, uh, budget report is still only BBB, let's have a look. So, expenditure went up, that's because I added in that extra stuff uh, of last quarter, we were at 45.71 billion in the, uh, uh, deficit, we're now at 62, shit. <laughs> Income has went down. Uh, I believe that's just because of the strike. Uh, global economy, uh, the global economy is crashing. It is smashing straight on down. Relative GDP is crashed, man. Down it went. Income, 247.15 billion. Uh, expenditures, 309. Yeah, we're, that's where that deficit is coming from. Shit, was there not other options there? The fucking hell, I, I clicked X and I needed to know what the, all the problems, oh my fucking god. Right, where's the strike? What's wrong with these? Widespread dissatisfaction, right, so something wrong with wages, what is affecting that? Where's wages? Poor earnings, labour laws, it's not even affecting it. Poor earnings, what's wrong with these? Food stamps? That's what did it! Surely no. What? Really? Poverty? This should be fucking slowing down. Look, socialists went up. Poor's went up. We're happy. Poor's happy. Concern. <laughs> fucking hell. It's these vigilante mobs, man. They're secret. What? Street gang, sorry. Eh, uh, how the hell am I going to solve this? Let's have a look here. I don't want to be adding anything else. I want to be able to increase the wage. Where is the fucking wages? I mean, that's really screwing us over this. Right, okay, so let's have a look here. The effective income of those people who are low or no earnings in our society, if this value raises high enough through benefits or tax exemptions for the poor, then more people will move out of poverty and in the middle income group. Progressive taxation combined with well-funded public services and state benefits are the most popular ways to lift people out of poverty. Public services. Poor earning. Let's see. Car usage. Let me have a look here. Let me see if there's got to be, there's got to be something. There's wages there. Uh, immigration raises. The, uh, immigration raises the labour supply. Uh, reducing wages and high unemployment will also put down more pressure on wages. Labour laws, including minimum wages, can push wages artificially higher. Well, this will have side effects. Labour laws. What is the labour laws? Labour laws are basically restrictions of workers' right. So, working week. Is there any way that I can do that? It's currently balanced. Wages go up when I move it up. But it costs so fucking much. Pro-union. Pro-employer. Twenty-seven. Increase it. I suppose what we could do is not employ, not do anything this quarter. 
just so we can carry over some of these political power. Unless there's a way of increasing it. Who... Who's the lowest in here? Transport Minister. And he's currently sitting at 2.4. How, how can we increase him? Troy Hayes. Right, there we go. That should hopefully increase our political power. That'll probably piss a few people off, like state employees maybe. Alright, it's now cr the organised crime, I believe, is slowing down. No, it's still this vigilante mobs, guys. They're slowly dropping, but fucking hell, it's, it's too slow. Get the handgun laws up. License required. Fucking <laughs> everybody get armed, the whole population, total ban. No limit. That means I pay jack shit for it. Parents are no happy. Violent crime is up. It's everything costs so much money. It just costs so much. Can't you see? No, I get it. I get it now. It's pretty hard, I'm gonna lie. I don't understand why these people are so pissed off. Wasn't wages in here? Poverty. Poor earnings. It's gone up. Is that because people... Are people... Wanting to be... I don't get it. What happens if that goes high? That goes up. The poor earnings goes up. Whereas if it was down low, it stays the same. I don't fucking... I don't get... There was something in here that I could add. Wait, well, add. Welfare Fraud Department. Right, no, I'm going I'm, to... I'm, 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 I'll tell you what, I'm going to... Let's... This is going to bite me right in the ass. Um, but I need to get this... I'm going to start off with tobacco, man. I'm going to start screwing people over with tobacco. And I want a tobacco tax. But that's going to cost me, in order to change that, to put this up to, even up to... Thirty percent. I need twenty-seven. What? Oh, shit, no. Right, go next. Here we go. Shit, this is going to really hurt. Unemployment's up, crime down, GDP leveled. Now we're <laughs> the fucking the budget reports now. CCCC. The polls do not look good. Our last polls puts at sixteen percent to vote in an election. Still loyal. The Human Rights Society is threatening direct action to show its opposition to the current government. Eh? Right, we'll work on that. Right, let's let's have a look at this price of art theft. A gathering of expert thieves has stolen one of the most famous paintings from the National Portrait Gallery. The police media are drawing attention to the inability of our police force to solve crimes such as this. Maybe there's a sign that we need to spend more money on law enforcement and crime prevention. The conservative media are especially outraged. Alright, okay. Eh, uh, credit loot. That's gone down. The major international credit agencies have downgraded the status of our government's debt. This is likely to have a knock-on effect on GDP as foreign companies become become wary of investing in our economy. It will also result in the interest rate we pay on our debt rising. There's a good chance that we will upset our capitalist voters too. You should take uh, action to regain credibility from the ratings agency by reducing level of debt as soon as possible. That's what I'm working on, but everybody keeps bitching and moaning about things. We need this crime done, man. Crime needs to go. Crime doesn't pay. Wait, this shit. Who's all this? Human Rights Society are up. They're threatening us, man. 
the Wildlife Trust is up against us as well. This is what I've got to deal with. Anyway, guys, I am going to call an end to the episode here. We'll start off straight out of the way. Oh, my God, look at the deficit. It was at 45, then it went up to 60, uh, 62. It's now at 97. We're almost 100 billion deficit here. National fucking debt. Is that... It says billion. Is that a trillion? I don't know. Numbers, man. Anyway... I'm looking at things though, the Conservatives have went right down. But everything's kind of levelled out, everybody's like me. It's, it's putting a break, so something's imp implemented that is now working possibly in our favour. Anyway, I'm going to call an end to this episode. Uh, we'll start off straight out of the bat. We'll get that tobacco tax that's going to piss people off, but we're going to generate some money to and getting that deficit down, which is what we need to do. Um, so if you've liked this video, please remember to give it a like. Get your comments and your suggestions in that comments box below. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you all in part three. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.